Hi, my name is Jason Chan and I'm a recent Master of Science graduate from Dr. Dominelli's lab in the Kinesiology Department at University of Waterloo in Canada. There are two purposes of this study. Firstly, the diaphragm has many unique characteristics, therefore it can be difficult to compare to other skeletal muscles. However, the tibialis anterior is a reasonable comparison due to the similar muscle composition, daily usage, the ability to voluntarily contract, and the lack of specific training. Therefore, we sought to evaluate the strength response of the respiratory muscles and the tibialis anterior to a five weeks of training and five weeks of no training. Secondly, inspiratory muscle training has been shown to increase the strength of respiratory muscles and in as little as five weeks, it is sufficient to blunt the respiratory muscle metabolic reflex response. However, effects of detraining on the respiratory muscle metabolic reflex is unknown. Therefore, we sought to determine whether the attenuation of respiratory muscle metabolic reflex is preserved after five weeks of detraining. We had eight participants complete a five week inspiratory muscle training and dorsiflexor training protocol, followed by five weeks of detraining protocol where no training was done. Every week, pressure and strength measurements were taken. To determine the respiratory muscle metabolic reflex, we measured their mean arterial blood pressure and heart rate during a loaded breathing task where the respiratory muscles worked hard. The loaded breathing task was completed three times before and after the inspiratory muscle training and after the five weeks of detraining. An attenuation in the respiratory muscle metabolic reflex was evident by lower mean arterial blood pressure. Another eight participants only completed the three loaded breathing tasks in the five weeks interval and no muscle training to act as a control. We found a similar temporal strength response to the inspiratory muscle training and the dorsi flexor training as both muscle groups were elevated after five weeks of training and remained elevated after five weeks of detraining. The mean arterial blood pressure was significantly lower after five weeks of training and remained lower after five weeks of detraining during the loaded breathing task, indicating the respiratory muscle metabolic reflex was attenuated after five weeks of training and preserved after five weeks of detraining. There are no change in the control groups. Inspiratory muscle training may be recommended for those who enroll in structured pulmonary rehabilitation and such programs could be repeated. By determining as a first step how healthy individuals respiratory metabolic reflex response to detraining, others can follow up to determine optimal time between training bouts. Thank you for listening.